Hello, I'm Paul Madison of Siemens Enterprise Communications and today I'm going to be running through an integration between OpenScape UC app and the social networking site Twitter. We previewed this demonstration way back in November 2009 at VoiceCon and today we're going to take a little bit of a deeper dive. This integration is a great example of some of our open SDKs. In particular, it highlights the use of the OpenScape OpenSewer SDK and also our web client SDK which allows you to customize the standard out of the box OpenScape web client. In combination with the OpenScape SDKs we also use the Twitter RESTful APIs. The integration itself, itself consists of two parts. Firstly we've got a mashup with the OpenScape UC web client and then secondly we've got some cool stuff around automating communications based upon the context of your tweets. So let's have a look at the, uh, the mashup part first. So this is our OpenScape web client. I'm not going to run through all the features of the OpenScape web client. I'm going to just cover, cover a couple quickly that are relevant later on in the demo. Firstly, we have a concept of a one number service. The idea behind a one number service is that you have one number which you publish to the world and you as a user decide how that gets and which, how and which device that gets routed to. So you can either choose your preferred device from a, a list of devices of which you can add new ones or you can automate that based upon your location, time of day, rules, whether it's from certain people etc. Over here we have the OpenScape contacts. Here we can see our um, all our buddies, their OpenScape presence and then their presence of individual media elements such as their, their current telephony presence. And down here we have conferences. They show all conferences, all reoccurring conferences that I'm currently associated with. So what have we done with OpenScape and Twitter? So we've brought, let me just maximise that. So what we've done is we've brought the, the your Twitter home timeline directly into the web client. And there's some nice stuff we can do with that to enhance that if that if the person who's tweeted is an OpenScape user. You can see here that Tommy Tompkins is an OpenScape user. So we can enhance his tweet by also showing his current OpenScape state and the availability, his availability on the phone and on IM. We can also click to call and click to IM directly from this Twitter portlet. You'll notice that there's LinkedIn icons next to users as well. If, if, if it's a known user and they also have a LinkedIn profile, OpenScape has associate that Twitter user with the correct LinkedIn uh, user and you can click and view that person's profile. So you can see here that clicking on Paul Madison brings up, brings up my profile. And you can go ahead and tweet directly from the web client. So bringing your Twitter stream into your main communications portal is pretty useful stuff, especially when you enhance that with other OpenScape elements. But you know, creating a mashup isn't rocket science. Let's have a look at a more innovative way in which you can use your the context of your tweets to automate your communications. So here I'm back in the OpenScape web client. You see, for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to be OpenScape user John Walters. My current state is currently set to available, and my preferred device is set to a device called Paul's, Paul's Home. So let's jump over to the Twitter web client. I'm going to use the Twitter web client, the Twitter home page, just so you guys can easily visualize what's going on. But, but, but this works from, um, from any third party app, such as TweetDeck, or if you're tweeting from your mobile device. Wherever you're tweeting from, socially where OpenScape can monitor your tweet stream, pick up upon the context of your message and use that to automate communication tasks. So let's have a look at that in action. So let's say um, John is currently with a customer and he wants to re re let the rest of his team know. So let's say he says, having lunch with the customer X right now come join me so he's tweeting to tell his team that he's currently having lunch and he wants the rest of his team to come and join him the rest of the team will see those tweets and then may come along let's give that a second for the screen 
recording software to catch up and tweet that. Now what will happen now is that Socially Aware OpenScape will monitor the context of John's tweets. So right now in a workout that's John's having lunch. When he's having lunch he's no longer available. So it should change his state and also change his preferred device. So if we jump over to the OpenScape web client, we'll see that John's state has been changed to do not disturb and his preferred device has been changed to voicemail. He didn't need to do anything there. That was all done automatically for him based upon OpenScape picking up on the context of that tweet. Let's have another look at that, another example. Let's say that John has been having a conversation in Twitter. We really need to get these two people together and we, we need to talk face to face. So um, let's see if he's okay. Um, we need to have a conf call at 2 p.m. Let's go ahead and tweet that. So what he's done there, he's been having this conversation. They need to talk to get it resolved. And he simply tweeted that they should have a conference call. Again, what OpenScape's done there is it's determined the context of that message. John Walters wants to have a conference call. And he wants to have that with Gail and David. So OpenScape has gone ahead, created the conference call, and will automatically launch at 2 p.m. If we jump over to the OpenScape web client, we'll see that there's a new Twitter conference here. And if we expand it, it includes um, David and Gail. What it does then is go and looks up their phone numbers from the OpenScape from the OpenScape contact list and populates those, and will automatically set up that conference call at 2 p.m. Let's see another example of this contextual automation. Let's change my state back to available. I'm going to refer device back to Paul's home. Okay. Let's say this time John's spoken to Gail and David, getting the information, but he really needs to speak to Paul Madison. So let's go Paul Madison. I'll call you now. So he's uh, he, he's he's tweeting to Paul that he that that they need to speak and that they need to call. Let me just uh, spell my name correctly. <laughs> okay, let's tweet that. And again, what OpenScape will do there, it will pick up on the context of the message that John Walters wants to have a conversation with Paul, and it will go and set that call up automatically for him. So if we jump over to the OpenScape web client, we can say we've got a call control box. John Walters' preferred device is ringing now. That answers. And in a couple of seconds, OpenScape will go make the second leg of the call out, out to Paul Madison. It's looked at Paul's number in the OpenScape contacts list, and it's setting up that call. You can hear the phone ringing there now. So let me answer that. When I wake up. And remember, as I said, those key phrases are completely configurable. So you as a user can, uh, can set up any key phrase to launch any action. For example, you may want to set up a rule that said every time that you arrived in in a certain place, it went and activated that rule profile. So if you say I do you tweeted I've just arrived in New York, it'll go and activate your US East Coast rule profile. And that's really what socially where UC is. It's about bringing some of the context that's available on these different social networking sites and using them to drive your enterprise communications. Thanks very much.